एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन मैक्सिमाइज द एरे ऑन कोर्ट शेप सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट यू आर गिवन एन एरे ए ऑफ लेंथ इन यू कैन डू द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सिलेक्ट द इंडेक्स आई रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन एंड ईदर इंक्रीज ए आई बाई वन और डिक्रीज ए आई बाई वन फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक द मैक्स ऑफ द एरे मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल सो इफ टू टू वन इज देयर जीरो इज द मैक्स If three one zero one is there, then two is the max. So max value is actually the number which does not belong to the array and would be the smallest. So we need to calculate the minimum number of operations required to make the max of the array maximum possible. So here we are given suppose zero zero three three. In case of zero zero three three, what we can do is. we can convert this to 1 this to 2 so our max would be 4 before this operations what is the max here the max would be 1 as 1 does not belong to the array the smallest non negative integer that does not belong to the array is 1 so the answer would be 1 but we need to maximize so the maximum possible value what we can get is the length of the array because If you do zero, one, three, five, suppose, so then here max value would be two. But if I do here zero, one, two, and three, then my max value would be four. So I will convert this to zero, one, two, three. Now in case of two zero one, it would be zero. One, two. So, if zero and two is there, max value is three, and this is the maximum possible which we can get, as this is having zero and two all three sorted. So, hence our answer is zero here because we don't need any number of operations. In case of four four one zero, sorting it out first, we will get zero one four four. Now what we need to do is we need to convert this to two and this to three. So here I will require two operations because minus one two times and here minus one one time so one operation. So total three operations are required and my max value would be four in this case. So to get the max value what we need to do is just sort the array. Like I did in zero one four four, and then subtract the values. So writing the indices here, zero one two three. These are indices, and these are the values. So what I will do is v minus i. Answer. Plus v minus i, so I will update my answer like this in every case, and take the absolute value of v minus i. So four minus two, first zero minus zero zero, one minus one zero, four minus two two, so a equal to a plus two, a is initialized as zero, so zero plus two is two. Then four three one so two plus one so answer will be three in this case. So let's look at the code to understand it. So here what I am doing is simply just sort the array, initialize answer to zero. For every v i, we calculate answer plus equal to absolute of i minus v i. i mentioned this why we are doing this just to get the difference between the two because the difference we calculate the number of operations as in operations we can do plus 1 or minus 1 and after that we will print the answer so this is the solution to the problem i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching 
Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question maximize the array on code shift. So the problem states that you are given an array A of length n. You can do the following operation any number of times. Select the index i ranging from 1 to n and either increase i by 1 or decrease i by 1. Find the minimum number of operations required to make the max of the array maximum possible. So if 2 to 1 is there, 0 is the max. If 3, 1, 0, 1 is there, then 2 is the max. So max value is actually the number which does not belong to the array and would be the smallest. So we need to calculate the minimum number of operations required to make the max of the array maximum possible. So here we are given suppose 0033. In case of 0033, what we can do is we can convert this to 1, this to 2. So our max would be 4. Before this operations, what is the max? Here the max would be 1 as 1 does not belong to the array. The smallest non-negative integer that does not belong to the array is 1. So the answer would be 1 but we need to maximize. So the maximum possible value what we can get is the length of the array. Because if you do 0, 1, 3, 5 suppose so then here max value would be 2 but if I do here 0, 1, 2 and 3 then my max value would be 4 so I will convert this to 0, 1, 2, 3 now in case of 2, 0, 1 it would be 0, 1, 2 so if 0, 1, 2 is there, max value is 3 and this is the maximum possible which we can get as this is having 0, 1, 2, all 3 sorted. So hence our answer is 0 here because we don't need any number of operations. In case of 4, 4, 1, 0, sorting it out first, we will get 0, 1, 4, 4. Now what we need to do is, we need to convert this to 2 and this to 3. So here I will require two operations because minus 1 2 times and here minus 1 1 time so one operation. So total three operations are required and my max value would be 4 in this case. So to get the max value what we need to do is just sort the array like I did in 0 1 4 4 and then subtract the values so writing the indices here 0 1 2 3 these are indices and these are the values so what I will do is V minus I answer plus V minus I so I will update my answer like this in every case and take the absolute value of V minus I. So 4 minus 2, first 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 4 minus 2, 2. So A equal to A plus 2. A is initialized as 0. So 0 plus 2 is 2. Then 4, 3, 1, so 2 plus 1. So answer will be 3 in this case. So let's look at the code to understand it. So here what I am doing is simply just sort the array. Initialize answer to 0. For every vi, we calculate answer plus equal to absolute of i minus vi. I mentioned this why we are doing this just to get the difference between the two because the difference will calculate the number of operations as in operations we can do plus one or minus one and after that we will print the answer. So this is the solution to the problem. I hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.